Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about just a little, just a little note, I guess. Uh, so we are now on the second 1.20 pre-release and uh, if you're unaware, I do have a large seri series that's supposed to be coming out for 1.20. I am going to guess that if I whip out my calendar here, can I do that? Um, I'm going to guess that the update is going to probably come around, I think they release it on Tuesdays, so probably around the 20th. Uh, that is plenty of time from now, but the 20th is going to be my nail, uh, my nail of the guess. Uh, so if it's not the 20th, you know, 13th, 27th, but I think 20th is probably a good number to pick out. If we are, um, familiar from last year, so 1.19 I believe came out on the 7th of June or July, so it's been close to a year since their, uh, uh, their last update, and uh, recently they have been, uh, dare I say, lacking on them. There are a lot of technical changes and stuff like that, so this may mess up, especially things with data. They're changing loot tables and how the loot tables are done and the stuff with the seeds. Um, the actual series itself, I have a way that I'm going to be talking about everything, and I'm actually going to be going into a lot of depth, basically on uh, talking about specifically just the very basic fundamentals of Minecraft. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to get into is basically assets, and then we're going to talk about uh, blocks, items, entities, and then data. So that is the order that I think would be best, but we're, we're not going to be able to get assets done until we get at least that first block in. But when I talk about our next series and what's going to be in it and stuff like that, we're going to be looking at our blocks. And then uh, instead of making a copy case blocks where it's this, which is basically a copy case of that, we're going to make a, I'm going to try and make a brand new block. And each block has a very, um, has its own method. So I plan on calling the series Minecraft Methodology because it's going to be generally based about all of the methods and the methods talking about mainly concerning blocks, items, and entities. The rest of them, like fluids, I mean fluid is technically a specialized block, effects are specialized things with the player, but the series is just about what a method is, what these little things are, these big words, I'll call them big words, are your parameters, while these little words are called your variables. And the idea is, I want to try and teach people how to code in Minecraft the things that they want to. If you can understand the basic fundamentals of what everything is, that's great. Do you really need to know how to code? Well, even if you did know how to code, you need to know what everything is generally called, and if you knew how to code, you'd normally how to look that up. If you don't know how to code, I'm going to be basically making a guide on the, each method, what the method does. So I'm going to try and make a little clip in the beginning of each video. Uh, talking, The video is going to be basically called whatever the method is, because I actually don't make these methods. If I uh, get rid of the T, it's going to turn gray, and it's suddenly not going to work anymore. But if I put the T there, it's it's because Minecraft has it in their stuff. And that's why it works. But, I mean, with all that, I do have one video uh, that I do have coming out uh, particularly soon. And it's because I want it, I, I need to reference how you need to do, uh, if you want them, your uh, loot tables for blocks, it, because we are not going to be using the data generation in the 1.20 series. If you choose that you want a data generation set up for your series, it should generally be the same setup as it was in 1.19.3 when I first made the setup. If there are any changes, you can probably let me know, but I am going to be discontinuing the data gen. A lot of people seem to have a little bit of confusion about what data gen is, how it gets used, where it's all placed and stuff like that. And honestly, it is just a little bit of a time saver, but if you're trying to teach someone something, you, efficiency 
may not be the best work. It's more practicality. Most of my videos take a little bit longer. I'm probably not the only person who does coding tutorials. I'm, I, I have seen other tutorials out there. My inspiration came from Suited Llama, and Suited Llama had made probably about one or two videos, and then... And then he like stopped. And <laughs> I was he made a buckets video, and then I was like, how did he do that? And um, but I ended up getting into some coding more into that. And I also want to make sure that coding for Minecraft is easy and accessible for everyone of any coding base, regardless of knowledge. So every time I talk about a particular topic, I try and talk about it slowly. And I also don't particularly use all the correct words <laughs> it's easier for beginners sometimes when i say big word uh l little word <laughs> but, you know use your big words so the technical term is you have your um you know your method parameter variable but for me those are boring technical words that you don't really remember them I mean, you remember them with experience or like if someone's like, hey, what's your problem? And someone says, you know, I think it's this. <laughs> if someone says, I think it's your little words. OK, maybe you might sound a little dumb, but um, but yeah, we're, we're going to get real depth into all the stuff. I'm excited for the blocks. I have everything set up for the blocks. I'm still going through uh, how I want to set everything up with the items. I haven't anything done with the entities, but I'm pretty sure I will uh, I will definitely get a lot of stuff in done with that. But that's just a little bit of ramble. That is the my so basically this video was I predicted uh, or I'm predicting that the release will probably be on like around probably June 20th. Uh, and then when the new series starts, we're going to be starting on all the stuff with the blocks and we're going to make one video time, one for each method. We're going to go through each block. I'm going to try and make a new each block for its own method. If they need more for whatever I'm trying to function, that is perfectly fine. Uh, there is a special order that I have in place that'll, you know, try and put sense of everything. And uh, there will be no data generation, so um, everything will be done pretty manually. Uh, so I, I feel like also the more manual work that you're doing, the more reading you're doing, uh, the more you'll understand. And also if you're doing manual work, if something messes up and you're like, hey... I made a block and it looks like this. Why? Um, I might be able to figure it out. I have like not the best comprehension skills, and I also need to figure out how to make a uh, a fan base sort of for when uh, people are uh, stuck. Now, on Discord, there is a server called The Fabric Project, and I like to go to it when I need help. Because, you know, all mod developers need help sometimes. Um, that is the, the the server that I go to when I need some help. But it's not always the best. There was one thing I was trying to work on, and it took me about six months because I ended up having to figure it out on my own because no one else was able to help me. Um, there was one person who tried, and they were going like, really out of hand uh and when i figured it out i literally did it in two lines of code it was literally that simple just nobody knew how to do what i was trying to do um but sometimes you just but sometimes if it's like something easy or something like really really small perfectly fine i would recommend using this if you need some extra help uh for me i'm gonna try and make i mean not a copy case it like this but I want to try and make a little bit of a server so that I have my own little community because how the fabric project has their well this isn't they don't even have a series I don't think well there's probably a videos and stuff like that showcases or something I don't know um so there's all that but basically with all the stuff that I'm getting into I want to try and make a really good uh fan base in which you know everyone you know I want to make everything easy and simple so that I'm basically teaching anyone so that whether you have coding knowledge or not this should be really simple because if you have coding knowledge or not you need to know what these are exactly called there are ways to look them up and stuff like that but hey I I personally took the time to do the series and I don't think anyone has ever taken it to the extent that I'm going to or the direction I'm going to. And I think that is what makes it special for my channel, is the fact that I'm doing something that I personally don't think no one is taking the time of consideration of doing. A lot of people would say that what I'm, the series that I'm probably gonna be making 
you know, if somebody knows how to code, they'd be like, oh, well, it's kind of self-explanatory. But if somebody has no coding knowledge, it's not so self-explanatory. They'd be like, this doesn't make sense, and I don't know why, and I want to put my head through a brick wall, and no, I, I, I just don't know where to go. I want to be the place to go. I want to be the place to the person who makes all the videos to to try and help you out. One little clip it, little videos. I'm going to try and make them smaller, but I say that, but they're probably going to be just as long because of the detailing that I'm going to go into. Um, and because I'm doing it one method at a time, you would only need to watch the videos of the methods that you're specifically looking at. Like, if you don't need the can place at, then you don't need to use it. But how do you know what the can place at is? Well, maybe you're going to have to watch probably about 80 videos of the blocks because I think that's literally how many I have set up. Oh, you know, I think I have 40 for block. I have like 40 or 80 set up for block. There's a lot of videos based on the methods, but don't worry about into it. I just wanted to make the little announcement of when I'm predicting the release, what I have planned for the series, uh, not using data generation. We're going to be also making, uh, the setup is going to come into two parts. I am going to be making a, uh, a manual setup where I'm going to do the video just like how we did it in 1.19.3. And then I'm also going to be using my GitHub. I'm going to try and make the setup that I used the manual way and upload it to my GitHub. And then if somebody wants to just download the code and all you would have to do is change the name of a couple things, that is going to be like the express setup. Um, we're going to see how that works, and uh, hopefully there is no issues, but I also think that uh, the setup is the most complicated thing for somebody who may not know how to code. It's just setting things up. But once things are set up and they're good to go, that's great. Then you could just have to <laughs> you have to learn, figure it out, and many times want to put your head through a wall. But beyond that, that is just of everything. I also, you know, having two ways... Having two ways to uh, have a setup so that if one doesn't work for you, maybe try the other video. I want to try and make the setup as easy as possible while also, you know, making it feel like you're doing so. I'll have a manual express setup, so there's two ways of doing it. So if one doesn't work, perhaps the other one will in case there's any troubles. But with that in mind, that is going to wrap up this little summary notation. So thank you guys so much for watching, and without further ado...